Hello and welcome to an interesting project with F4 Discover Free. If you remember in the past, we posted a video of sensorless driving processes of motors using F4 Discover Free. As you can see here in the picture, we had a prototype of processes of motor controller which uh, were able to control up to two motors. Right now, we have developed an extension board on F4 Discover Free, as you can see here in the, on the right. Instead of controlling two motors, now we are able to control up to four motors. Here's a close-up view of the extension board. And we have four process DC motors. Now, as usual, we also provide a live webcam view of our setup, our systems. So here you can find the extension board with a lot of push buttons for manual control connected through some cable. And here are the process motors. The firmware is already uploaded to F4 Discovery Free, and all we need to do is to control all motors using console. So now I'm going to restart the board. And there you go. Now we can type comments instead of just pressing one two three four on on the keyboard but before we we do that i'm going to show you how to manually control the motors using push button on the board so here you can just press each button to move the motor clockwise or counterclockwise so i will go back to the process dc motors So manually control pressing motor number one, pressing motor number two using push button, number three, and number four. Okay. Now I'm going to put all motors aligned so that we can monitor which one is the position zero okay like that look align number four that's it now we will use the console instead of push button to control processes in motors. To know to know the rotor position, we can type PLDC dash P zero position, and it returns the position of process motor number one. For process motor number two, you can type PLDC dash P one position, and that is the position of process motor number one. Sorry, person motor number two. So instead of typing, we have provided here in a text file comments that we can copy and paste. For example, I can just copy and paste this to know the position of process motor number one, two, three, and four. Like this. So this is the position of person motor number one, two, three and four now I want to see all position go back to zero so I'm going to reset the position and also disable the push button so all I need to do is just to copy and paste these comments here so basically the first comment button off is to disable buttons and position reset is to reset the counter to back to zero. I'm going to copy this and paste it here. 
Now to prove that all positions are zero, you can copy and paste this comment. And there you have it. You have all position back to zero. Now, I want to turn each motor to one full rotation clockwise. And these are the commands that you need to copy and paste. So the command for each motor is PLDC P0, with the number of the motor. Step counter no step clockwise 2024. So in this case for for this type of motor 2024 is equal to one full rotation. So I'm going to copy and paste this. As you can see here on the live welcome view, they're all doing one full rotation each time I paste this command. Likewise, you can copy and paste this command to turn each motor counterclockwise for one full rotation. As you can see it here in the live welcome view. If you want to know the position of each motor, copy and paste this. And there you have it. Each position is 2024. If you want to do 10 full rotation for each motor, you can copy and paste this. There you have it. Now, they stop exactly after doing 10 full rotations. You can read the position, the current position of each motor, which is 22,264. And if you go, if you want to go back to the initial position, which is uh, position zero, you can copy and paste this comment. There you go. Just to confirm that the positions are zero, you can copy and paste this. So they're all zero. Now, instead of using common line, you can also develop a graphical user interface like the one that we have developed here on Windows. So this is the graphical user interface on Windows. Now I'm going to connect to F4 Discovery Free. There you go. Like in the uh, common line, I can do step clockwise for full rotation for press motor number one. I can do the same for the other motor. I can do a different step for a different motor, like a 10 full rotation, while changing the other as well. And here you can see the rotor position of each motor, and also the anchor position of each motor. For example, this process motor number three has rotor position of 20,240 and I can set the anchor to zero and move it counterclockwise so that the rotor position is back to zero. So that is an interesting project for today of controlling processes and motors using F4 Discover Free. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next interesting project.